Getting signups for your lead magnet or trying to get conversions for your product or services can be a real struggle. If you take WordPress and WooCommerce, for example, there you will have to install countless of plugins to try and do uh, upsells, downsells, order bumps, and so much more. For this reason, Pitchground is launching the product of the year and it's called Light Funnels. Light Funnels is a fantastic and amazing platform that allows you to build any kind of funnel for your lead magnet, for your product, or for your service. So let's dive in and let's take a look. So once you're logged into your account, you will come to this dashboard overview. And from here, you'll already have some good analytics going that gives you a good overall status about your funnels. Before going into the funnel and the products themselves, let's first go to the settings. Because here you can set up your entire account if you have not done so already. So for the account, you could uh, update your image, recommended size is being displayed. You can update your account name, owner's email and customers from email. Then we have all the other data that you can fill in yourself. Under the default template, you can choose a default template that once you are creating a funnel, this default template will directly be enabled. So if we press select template, you will see that you will have a choice from every single template that currently has been created. Then you also have the members overview where you can uh, where you can invite new account members. You also have tracking, so manage your account tracking methods where you can fill in the Google Analytics, the Facebook pixels, the TikTok pixels and the Snapchat pixels are coming soon. So those are being added to your account as well. Then we also have the legal documents and here you can see that we have some variable formats that you can use throughout your documents. And this is something that you can create yourself or you can create from a template. So if I would delete this privacy policy overview, then I could also say create from template. And then you will get a default privacy policy generated by LightFunnels itself. The same goes with the terms of services. And you can of course format this to your own liking to really make it a good solid page. If we go down a step, you will come to the payment gateways. Here you can select your account currency. You can select your currency conversions, so automatically switch to the visitor's local currency, or you can use all currencies or automatically add missed currency of the visitor's country. You can then enable Stripe, and you can switch between test mode and live mode once you enable this. You will also see the transaction fees that go along with the payment gateway. And these are set by the payment gateway themselves. You can also connect to PayPal and you can also enable cash on delivery. Razorpay is coming soon. But this is a fantastic new payment gateway that will be live into your account really, really soon. On the left hand menu, you will come to the apps overview and the apps are a fantastic addition to light funnels themselves. You can install apps to your own liking. So for example, in my account, I enabled sessions recording, which allows me to see what people are doing on my pages. The Zapier, the MailChimp and the Shopify app and more apps are being added soon. So for example, Webinar Jam, Teachable, EverWebinar, Kajabi, all are coming towards light funnels and more apps will be added over time as well. If we go up a one step more in the left hand menu, then we will come to discounts and from the discounts, you will be able to just create coupons codes. You can enter your own code or you can let light funnels just generate a random code as you can see here. You can then select between the type of discount that you want to give. So either a percentage or a fixed discount. And then from there, you can give it a value. You can set start and end dates if you want to. So you can also limit the discount where you just give out a limited edition of coupons, right? Like 50 coupons only. You can also do a one-time usage per user. And then you can select to apply this to all products, select the tags or select the products themselves. Then you can also set up the status to active or stopped. So this way you can also enable and disable your coupon codes. So let's go into the actual product itself now. So if we go to products 
and you can see that I already created the product for my membership. And if we take a look here, you will see you can give it a title, you can give it a description, even an SKU code if you want to. Uh, you can also do a limit a special offer. And if you hover over the question mark, then we'll see how it looks like and where it's going to be get placed on your pages itself. You can set up your images, of course. You can also set up variants. So if we add an option, then we can give it a name and an option value. And then we have the funnel settings. We can customize the template. We can create a custom product page. So that product page will only be applicable to that specific product. And we can also disable or enable a countdown timer. You can even do it evergreen and then set a certain time. You can also enable a sticky buy button. So if you enable this, then your customers will now see a sticky buy button when they scroll through the bottom. And then you can also go for the checkout page settings. You can create a custom checkout page like for the product, or you can also enable an order bump to boost your sales that way. You can also create an upsell. You can also create a downsell and you will be able to set up a custom thank you page if you want so. On the right hand side, you will have the option to choose what kind of product type it is. If it's a virtual product, then you can also upload a file like a free lead magnet or something like that where people need to opt in for. You can set a product price. So for example, for my membership, it's $997 lifetime, but I currently have an offer for $697. So this will be the comparison price, the total price, and this will be the discounted price. You can also add tags. So if you need to search something by tags, then this product will also show up. And inside of this feature settings, here is where you can set up all your features beforehand and then automatically let light funnels generate it if you select the features module inside of any of the pages. Same goes with the testimonials. You can set it up all directly onto your product or service. And the same goes with your FAQs. At the very top, you can also add a review yourself. So you can either import a review or you can add a review manually. You can also duplicate this product and you can also delete the product. Besides creating a product manually, you can also import products. And once doing so, the only thing you need to do is import products from AliExpress or Shopify stores to sell them using light funnels. The only thing you will need is the product URL. So let me grab something from AliExpress and get right back to you. So now that I have the product URL, let's just paste it in and see if light funnels can import this product successfully. So let's say import. So it's now importing the product. And as you can see here, it's fetching the title, it's fetching the description, and it's already setting the product price, right? So you have the compare the total price and the comparison price. You can have your SKU numbers, but as you can see here, and this is really powerful, it adds, auto adds all the images fetched from that URL. So if we take a look, then this is the URL that I fetched. So this is the product and you can see the comparison between, right? So these are the comparisons and these are all the product images. And as you can see, if we take a look at light funnels, all these images have been applied, have been imported. You can also see the variants, option name shipped from China. You have the option name colors, white or black, plugs type, US, processor mode, everything is being imported for you. So now that we know that we can create products manually by just entering all the information or import them from AliExpress or Shopify, let's see how the funnel works. So inside the funnel system, you can add a new funnel by pressing the button and then you will be able to choose one of the templates. So let's just select the e-course template and then press next. Here we can select which funnel pages that we want to include inside of this funnel. So if you only want to sell the product, you can also include an upsell or a downsell if you want to, as you can see here. If we select this, then you will see that we have a total of five pages. We have a product page, a checkout page, an upsell page, a downsell page, or a thank you page. If we check this off, then we only have four pages. If we want to collect leads as well, right? We'll be able to use them and add to our MailChimp, for example, 
then we can just add this page as well. From here, you will be able to say create my funnel. You might get this missing payment method, but this is if we scroll all the way down. I did not enable the payment method cash on delivery. So if we delete this, then that option is gone as well. We can also say we can enable page recording. We can also enable Google Analytics and fill in your favicon. And you can also choose your language among the ones that are available currently. Then the next step would be to adjust the styles to match your branding. So if we go to styles on the left hand menu, then you will be able to set up everything by style and you can adjust these all to your own liking. Then we can also go to generic pages and this will be the privacy policies, the contact us page, the refund policy and the terms of service. And these are all fully editable as well. But if we come to the main overview, so let's close this for now, you will see that all the pages that we selected are now automatically generated. So if we take a look at the squeeze page, you will see how it looks like if you enable this eye icon in the middle of the top of the screen, then you will see a complete overview and you will also see how it looks like on the different devices. And actually let's go back and build a page from scratch. The way to do this is by going to the bottom right corner, pressing the plus icon, and here we can select one of our pages that we want to build. Let's build a blank page for now. And from here, if we press it, we can select sections. Let's go for a hero section. Let's just grab this one and drag it inside the canvas itself. And like that, it's being populated for you. You can adjust everything to your own liking. You can remove the sign up, you can add elements to the sign up form. And for example, if you need more than just a full name, so let's say instead of full name, we want to have this as a first name. So if we go into the settings, now we will be able to adjust this. So let's adjust this to the first name instead. So instead of placeholder full name, we can adjust this to first name. And now I also want to add another one you can either duplicate this item or you can go to elements, go to forms. And from here, you can just put an info, an input field just anywhere you want to. So let's say we're going to put it here. The type will be a last name. Then the placeholder, let's call this last name as well. And we can also set this to required yes or no. And we can do this for every single of these outputs. Then on the submit button, we can also take it to an internal page that we have set up inside of the funnel, or we can also go with a generic page or an external page. You can also show a pop-up that you can create. So you can also create pop-ups and fully customize these. If you need more control over the layers because you cannot drag something that you want to specifically, then you can also go into the layer section on the left-hand menu in the middle. You can then, as you can see here, you can drag everything like you want to. So if, if I want to have the sign up here, we can drag the sign up here. If we want to put it back, then we can put it back. And this gives you also a good overview of each individual section, each individual container. But you can see how easy it is to create a page, right? We can just go to sections. We can go to, for example, how it works. Let's add this one. There we go. And sometimes the output is different than what you see in the preview. So if we go back into the sections and let's go with how it works, you will see that how it works. In this case, how it works, right? How CleanShot X works has a black background. If we import it, you will see it has a white background, but this is regarding the styles that you set up. So if you go into the section itself, go to style. If we take a look at all the different colors that are available, these are the colors that you set up at the beginning of your funnel. So to match your branding. So sometimes the preview of what you see inside the sections overview will be different than what you get here but it's easily adjustable, right? You can just go and adjust the color to your own liking. So if we want something like this, we can easily customize this. 
and then we can customize the entire text really easily as well. So you can see what kind of effect that you can create by just replacing a few colors. If you want to add a pop-up, it's really easy to do as well. You can just go to pop-ups, add a new pop-up, and from here you will get a blank canvas and here you can just insert anything you want to. So you can insert your image, you can just upload an image to your own liking. But let's say we're going to fetch this one. You can drop your content here or you can delete this and go with a heading instead. So if I want to have a heading on top and you can just build your entire pop-up this way. If we go back, you will see how easy it is to connect pages with each other. You will have a fantastic flow builder where you can connect every page towards the other one. So if you have multiple buy buttons, you can adjust them and go to the checkout page. You could go to the upsell page by just hovering over the button and then connecting it to any page that you want to. Once you're done with adjusting your funnel, you can go to the top right corner and then say that you want to publish your entire funnel. This is making all the pages go live at once. So as you can see, Light Funnels is a really advanced and really easy to use platform that allows you to build any kind of funnel that you need for your own business, whether it's just for lead generation and signups or for complete product checkout pages with upsells, downsells and order bumps, Light Funnels is the product for you. You can also import products from AliExpress and Shopify by just importing it through a product URL. And then Light Funnels will import everything from title to description to pricing, all the images and all the variants automatically for you within just seconds. So if you are into drop shipping, then this is definitely something that you can do with Light Funnels as well. Be sure to grab yourself a copy of Light Funnels today. The link will be on top and in the video description. And do not miss out on this product of the year that's launching with Bridgecode. Have a great day. Take care. Talk soon.